Viewers and subscribers, please make sure to subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share because if you don't, you will miss out a lot on the news. A man was shot and injured at a newly opened drug center in Martin St. Mary on Thursday night. It is reported that around 8.45 p.m., several workers along with a male customer were sitting at the exterior of the establishment when two motorcycles drove up and one of the drivers brandished a firearm before opening fire hitting the customer. The bikers escaped and the injured man was rushed to the hospital where he was admitted with gunshot wound to his hip. Police are investigating the incident. A businessman was shot and injured during an attempt ambush at Delville Land, Little London in Westmoreland on Wednesday night. The businessman who is also a licensed firearm holder narrowly escaped with his life after he and several gunmen traded bullets, the police said. Information reaching news indicated that shortly after 9 p.m., the businessman was driving his white Toyota IS bus along the Delville Land main road when he reached a cane field with a narrow concrete and metal bridge. He realized the bridge was black with debris from banana trees and piece of stick and stopped it. Gunman armored rifles reportedly pounced up on the businessman from the cane field. He reportedly pulled his license firearm and discharged several rounds in the direction of the gunman. The men fled through the cane field while returning the gunfire. When the shooting subsided, the businessman discovered that he was shot in the right side of his chest and right upper arm. His bus received gunshot damage to the right driver door and right side door glass. Police who responded to the incident rushed the businessman to hospital where he was treated and admitted in serious condition. The Westmoreland police have laid murder charge against a sister and her stepfather who are alleged to have killed 38 years old laborer Alwyn Beckford. Beckford was reportedly hit with a stone during a confrontation with his relatives on Monday at Hartford in Petersfield in the parish. He later succumbed to his injuries. Charge are 62 years old Rice and Dennis, otherwise called Shot, and Bigford's sister, and 24 years old, Sherika Dennis, otherwise called Rika, according to a well placed news. Police source The two were charged after a witness statement following a question and answer session. Both accused remain in police custody. Another sister, who was also allegedly involved in the dispute, a 17 years old, expected to be charged on Friday, reports from the police indicated that. Beckford was at home with his fiance when an argument developed between him and one of his sister. During the argument, it is alleged that the three family members, including his sister, began hurling stones at Beckford, one of which reportedly hit him on the left side of his head, causing a wound that bleed profusely. Beckford was collapsed and was rushed to the Savannah Public General Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. A 73 years old man was shot and injured during a gun attack on Omara Road, St. Andrew on Wednesday night. The elderly man, a carpenter, was shot when a gunman opened fire on him and another elderly man on a section of the roadway. The other man escaped injuries, the police said. Reports are that around 7 p.m., both men were on Omara Road when they were pounced upon by another man traveling on foot and armed with a handgun. The gunman, the police said, opened gunfire, hitting the elderly man in his right hand before escaping on foot. The injured man was rushed by residents to hospital for treatment. No motive had been established for the attack, the police said. A 19 years old man has been charged with housebreaking in and larceny after allegedly using a ladder to enter a home and make off with a 32 inch TV and a portable water heater. Charge is Kyle Black of Valentine Castle Drive, Kingston 19, according to the Kansas Spring Police. On Friday, May 10, Black used a ladder to climb to the rear of the house and remove two window blades. He entered and stole 132 in Samsung TV value approximately $30,000 and one portable water heater reported the value $15,000. The matter was reported to the police and an investigation was launched. The stolen items were reported later found in Black's position on Wednesday, May 15. The accused was pointed out to the police and arrested. He later confessed to the crime.
and was subsequently charged, the police said. Investigation continue. A constable was offered bail of $2 million when he appeared before the St. Elizabeth Parish Court to answer to the charge of murder and five counts of unlawful wounding in relation to a 2022 fatally shooting in a compound. Constable Lacary Barrett was charged with the January 6, 2022 off-duty police fatal shooting of Lyde Davis and shooting injury of five individuals in the community of a compound in St. Elizabeth. The charges are a result of a complete investigation by the Independent Commission of Investigation in the COM and a ruling by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, ODPP. Constable Barrett was offered bail in the sum of $2 million with a surety reporting condition and a stop order was imposed. He will return to court on June 11, 2024. A little more than 7 ounces of drugs, believed to be cocaine, was seized at the DHL warehouse on Sunset Boulevard in Montego Bay, St. James on Wednesday. The drugs was reportedly found. During a screening by the authorities, the police said, reports were that around 2.30 p.m., the Jamaica Custom Agency Contraband Enforcement Team, CET, was carrying out routine security check and outgoing package at the warehouse. During the check, the police said a package was searched and detected narcotics. Detectives were summoned and they conducted further checks. The package contained a mini car pump with a false compartment with a white powdery substance resembling cocaine weighing approximately 7.1 ounces. Police said the package was destined for an address in Florida, USA. No arrest was made in connection with the seizure. A 59 years old farmer of Kinasam district in St. Elizabeth was charged with burglary after reportedly breaking into a woman's house after she retired to bed. He is Bernard Foster. Reports are that the woman securely locked up her house and went to bed at approximately 1.05 a.m. She was later awoken by strange sounds inside the house. She reported the run from the house and called the police who arrived on the scene to find Foster inside the house. He was arrested and charged. His court date has been finalized.